I am Dr. O.K. N. Vaikun Trajo. I am a pediatric neurologist from Bangalore. Currently, I am working at Indira Gandhi Institute of Child Health, Bangalore. I also visit at Sagar Hospital, Jayanagar and Cloud9 Hospital, Jayanagar. And in my clinic at Vijayanagar Child Health, Neurology and Rehabilitation Center. EEG is a full form EEG electroencephalography. This is the most commonly performed test in uh, children who are suffering from epilepsy. This is a test where like uh, similar to heart problem where they will do ECG. So you will do EEG for the brain. So where they will connect uh, various electrodes to the scalp of the brain and they will uh, document the electrical activity from the brain. So some of the indication for uh, this test is those who are suffering from epilepsy and those who are suffering from uh, pits like conditions, uh, initial diagnosis where you will use this test. This test indicates whether a child is suffering from uh, pits or some other condition and uh, if it is not a pits and you can uh, some amount you can rule out it is not a pits it may be due to because of some other causes like uh, heart related problem. In case of pits you can able to find out uh, what is the severity of pits in this uh, EEG and also you can able to find out the different types of uh, pits in this EEG. So based on this test, uh, we can uh, select the drugs of choice for uh, various types of feeds and also sometimes it gives clue for those children who are not uh, improving uh, development and they are recurrent episodes of feeds where it gives a much benefit uh, where EEG is showing continuous discharges where different uh, type of medications can be selected and based on this uh, diagnosis you can uh, start treatment once the baby is controlled well you can uh, do EEG if requires based on uh, neurologist assessment or uh, before uh, stopping the medicine where we can do again this EEG so that uh, whether uh, it's are controlled whether or not. Yeah, at the end of two years uh, we will do usually EEG. If it is normal I will usually taper and stop medicines. If EEG comes abnormal the chance of coming uh, again the recurrence of PITS is uh, high compared to those children with normal EEG. So in this EEG there are various waveforms uh, like alpha, beta, delta and theta. So normal uh, activity is the alpha. If it is somebody has uh, low activity, if it is not a child if like adult, uh, it indicates a diffuse brain function. But in children as the age grows, the activity of brain uh, improves from delta activity that is less than 4 to theta activity from 4 to 8 and uh, alpha activity. After uh, 8 years, uh, that comes around 8 years, uh, the alpha activity is uh, 8 to 12 and uh, beta activity more than 12 will be there.